Hey BZB Gear fans, my name is Matt and today we're going to be covering a special topic and that's 8K and are we even there yet? So as technology moves forward, so too do the standards and one of the most interesting and impactful ones to everyday life are camera and display resolutions. Back in the mid 2000s, the world was transformed by the adoption of 1080p, which significantly boosted the visual clarity of media consumed by the vast majority of people. Well, the advances just seemed to keep moving fast. And back in 2013, the first 4K home TVs were introduced onto the market. That quadrupled the pixels that most homeowner, most homeowners were used to seeing on their 1080p displays. Ever since then, there has been a huge push to make the 4K a visual standard, especially by display manufacturers who push to make it a new standard by 2017. Just two years after 2017, a new high bar was unveiled at CES with the first consumer 8K TV. To put 8K in perspective, that is four times the pixels of 4K and 16 times the pixels of 1080p. As it stands, it is currently the highest resolution in the REC 2020 standard. So that brings us to the other part of this equation. Having a display that's 16 times the detail as regular 1080p is awesome, but that doesn't mean the content for it magically appears. One of the biggest hurdles in terms of adoption for new standards is production of content for that standard. It was a part of why 4K took time to be adopted, even though the first 4K cinema camera was released in 2003. It did take a while for 4K content to be produced. A lot of times, content will be shot at higher resolutions and then released at a lower resolution just because it improves the visual quality of said picture. By 2018, we had a few 8K cam uh, cinema cameras and as of today, we even have at least one cinema camera shooting in resolutions of up to 12K. As it stands though, content shot on ca a camera isn't the only content that could use ultra high resolutions. Computers and consoles are getting more powerful by the day, and they're even powerful enough today to run games at 4K at high refresh rates with the newest generations of graphics cards. And also with those new generations of graphics cards, 8K is even being used as a benchmark to show how powerful they are. So where does that leave us? Should you run out and buy 8K displays and 8K related products? I'd say not quite yet, at least for widespread adoption. If the past and what's happening now is anything to go by, while it's not something you should go out of your way to push for, 8K is absolutely going to become a new standard that will see adoption. The only remaining question is how long will that take? As it stands, at least as far as consumer displays are concerned, 8K is speculated to become a mainstream consumer display resolution between 2023 and 2024. So we should be seeing much more support for 8K within the next few years. So I hope that answers your guys' questions on what 8K is and if it's even relevant to you. So if this was content that you were interested in, highly recommend that you uh, stay subscribed to the channel, maybe leave a like, and also check out BZB Gear Dot com because we are also coming out with some 8K related products that might interest you. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.